First, it went from allergies to a sinus infection to bacterial meningitis. Yes, the last few months has been quite a blur of emergency room surgery and antibiotics for a Frenchtown family who suddenly found their son in the middle of a life-threatening situation. Now their community is stepping up big to help them through a long journey to recovery. MTN's Jill Valley picks up the story. Sinus infections, I mean, people, people have those, but to get the bacterial meningitis, I mean, Seattle said they hadn't seen a case in 30 years. It was July and 13-year-old Ryan Compton had summer allergies like so many of us do. But he was getting sicker and sicker in what was becoming a bit of a medical mystery until it wasn't. And then the next day we did an MRI and that showed on the report and the doctor came in and was like, you guys gotta go, you gotta go now. And so they life flighted us to Seattle. In Seattle, doctors wasted no time in an epic fight against a life-threatening infection. He had to end up cutting his skull out and taking it out because the infection was so bad, it was attacking his brains and his, his brain and his bones. And so he was missing a good portion of his skull. And it's just been a struggle every day since. Ryan is home now wearing a helmet to protect his head until he is strong enough to have a 3D printed plastic piece to cover the part of his skull they had to remove because of that infection. He hasn't been able to go to school yet this year, but tries to keep busy. I like to do a lot of things like, like even I go outside and play with my dog, throw a ball at it out here for her to play with. It's been a constant journey of medical appointments from Missoula to Seattle. Beth hasn't slept much since August. She has a constant watch on her son. The antibiotics have been very hard on his body and they can only hope that the infection is gone. But in true Frenchtown form, the community is there. His eighth grade football team made him a member this year. The community holding a big silent auction this weekend to help the family with travel expenses. It has for sure been tough, but the Comptons are tougher. He's a lot of my personality and I've just, uh, I always smile. I mean, you just always still got to try to look to the positive. That's what we try. In Frenchtown, Jill Valley, MTN News. And Jill tells us tomorrow there's a silent auction and a benefit for Ryan and his family happening at the Benny's Frenchtown Club starting at 5 p.m. Money raised to help with travel and medical expenses as Ryan continues his recovery, so we wish Ryan and his family all the best. We'll be right back.